Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. It's about time that I gave you my two cents on CMU 1.7.5. If you're the kind of person who regularly checks Reddit, then I don't have any new facts for you. But what you won't find on Reddit is my opinion and conclusion. Let's take a look at what we do know based on evidence. Just before we get started, I would like to say that you can catch my live streams on Twitch and YouTube every single night. I'll provide all the links in the description below, but on Twitch, I'm Complaining James, and of course on YouTube, The Complaining Gamer. Personally, I recommend that you watch on Twitch due to additional features like requesting music and the fact that the stream quality is actually better. So whenever I stream, I get asked a million questions, and whenever there is a new version of CMU, the people go crazy. So one, one of the common questions is, uh, with CMU 1.7.5, do you think it will fix everything? Will the game be 100% perfect and the FPS will be flawless? My short answer is absolutely not. I personally believe that 1.7.4 will be the performance of Breath of the Wild for some time to come. I believe that we have plateaued in terms of performance increases. Now, I would love to be wrong. The jump between 1.7.3 and 1.7.4 was huge, but I genuinely do not expect to see anything like that ever again for Breath of the Wild. Another common question is, so what's still broken? And in terms of what's actually mechanically broken. It's very, very little. So for example, if I think off the top of my head, the pictures that you personally take are still black. So that's a mechanical issue. Another one is the camera in shrines gets stuck. This is extremely frustrating and it happens to me every night on stream. Another issue is the zero FPS glitch, which makes the game unplayable. But you know what? Forget all those issues. If the open world FPS was smooth, then you could probably get over a lot of that. The biggest issue, of course, is FPS optimization. And CMU 1.7.5 does not bring anything to the table in that department. And no, we have no idea when a feature like that may or may not come. My advice to you people is get used to 1.7.4 performance for quite a long time. Let's take a look at some of the direct communications with XUP, the CMU developer. One of the first things that got the 1.7.5 hype train going was when XUP just threw out a random um, Discord message which said, we are considering skipping the news for an earlier release, stealth release. So he was talking about releasing 1.7.5 without even announcing it. Now, for me, that is an immediate red flag because if you had something to share, you would scream about it. But if you personally felt like you're not bringing much to the table, then you would just throw it out there. There are others who claim he was just being playful and joking. Take it how you will. When asked when will it be released, he just said probably towards the end of April. He later went on to confirm, yes, 1.7.5 will release in April. So we are looking towards the end of April for those of you who are genuinely interested. Now, two other users asked Exa, if I'm running Breath of the Wild at 15 to 20 FPS now, can I expect any significant improvement with 1.7.5? Another user said, can we expect performance gains and or compatibility improvements in the next CMU version? Is camera room Breath of the Wild and Pictobox WWHD issues solved? Are timer issues in TBHD fixed? Any news about Amiibo support? Thank you very much. XAP simply said, no, not significant but there are optimizations and maybe you will see a small improvement. Now it has been announced that one of the guaranteed fixes with 1.7.5 is the 0.1 FPS issue where the game would suddenly stop and become unplayable with the potential secondary issue of fixing the camera in shrines. As a little tip, and this comes courtesy of my regulars on the stream, if you are regularly suffering from the 0.1 FPS glitch, then what you should do is do not spam the start button hold it down once. Just be patient and hold it down once. And then what you can do is get into the menu and load your save. So that's the perfect solution for that glitch for now. If you are suffering from the camera glitch in Shrine, you have two potential options. Void out, so get yourself killed or drop out of the map, or once again, load your save. There are your, basically your two options. Of course, to all my friends out there, feel free to jump into the comments if you have anything to share. So in terms of what we know, the improvements in 1.7.5 are minimal at best. If you are sitting there eagerly awaiting this huge leap like there was between uh, 1.7.3 and 1.7.4, you are going to be bitterly disappointed. That is not going to happen. 1.7.5 is a very, very minor improvement. And no, it does not touch 
FPS at all. You are still hostage to hardware limitation. I get asked all the time, how can I improve uh, your performance? How can you improve FPS? And they say, oh, how do you get such good FPS? And I tell my friends, I say, uh, I don't. I have a very choppy experience. Now, there is one little tip that for some of you might be very obvious, but for others, maybe not. One thing that I do to prevent crashes is I do not touch the NVIDIA panel. Whenever I play with the NVIDIA panel, I immediately get crashes in Simu. So one piece of advice, well, another piece of advice, I should say, is just restore your Simu NVIDIA panel settings and see if that limits any of your crashes. Another thing that I do do uh, with my NVIDIA card is I have deleted my pre-compiled shader cache folder and I just let the game work off the GL cache. And people, if you know to read and go to Reddit, stop using any shader cache above 10,000. I have a 9,000 shader cache and it doesn't grow. It is perfect. Throw away the 19K, throw away the 17K. It is nonsense. I apologize if I'm shattering any dreams right now, but this is just the reality, people. Moving on to some slightly different news. A Reddit user released a post showing XAP talking to NVIDIA. So he has put in a ticket complaining about the high RAM usage connected to shaders and nvidia actually replied saying yes we know we are tracking this internally so it does seem to be a genuine issue within nvidia so they know about it and hopefully they are working on it because of course the current situation with ram usage is absolutely ridiculous people if you are interested in seeing what hardware other CME users have then reddit user uh, eli has haddock has put this great little uh, survey together a hardware survey um, and you can just go on there put in your details and then check the results of the rest of the community so that's a pretty cool little thing that you can go do just to compare what you've got to other people and it's all displayed in a, a very nicely organized way so to summarize what are we going to see specifically for breath of the wild and not necessarily other games with 1.7.5 we're basically going to see a few tweaks and we should see a fix for the 0.1 FPS glitch. Other than that, nothing else, people. We know it's coming out in April, so you're not going to have to pay the Patreon again. Also, let me tell you one more time, what am I currently doing for performance? I have the Simu Hook Fence Skip on, the latest version, 4.1.0. I have turned off any NVIDIA tweaks because they do nothing for me and i am using the dynamic speed hack i'm currently using the super speed hack and for this clip that you're watching now which in my opinion looks fairly smooth for simu i set it to 24 fps as the target a minimum of one and a maximum of 2.3 so that's it people simu hook and super speed hack that was it with a deleted pre-compiled folder and a rock solid 9k shader cache and of course when you delete your pre-compiled folder the shaders come from the nvidia gl cache everything that i've mentioned will be linked in the description below in case you didn't know simu has a change log so you can see exactly what has changed between the different iterations of simu it also has a compatibility list so you can see which state which game is in always remember to check those two things so there you go people that's it for now please feel free to jump in in the comments below i have been the complaining gamer you are going to catch me tonight on stream. All are welcome. I will catch you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Peace out.